Meghan barking mad, as Harry secretly sells Montecito house half price, to run off to UK, let's just go home. Harry told he'd be crazy to sell as 11 million pound home could half in value in months. The latest edition of Life and Style reports Prince Harry is finally ready to return to his homeland, but Meghan Markle doesn't want to hear it. After the couple took New York City by storm in July, speaking at conventions and posing for photographs, Harry apparently realized they had become what he was trying to escape. Meghan seemed to be lapping up the attention as he gave a speech at the United Nations and they dined at trendy eateries like Le Canda Verde, an insider observes. And Harry is apparently starting to doubt his decision to leave the UK. He wanted to start over and live a quieter life in Montecito away from the cameras, but Meghan is all about fame and money, the tipster spills. This isn't what he signed up for, it's as if he's living a lie. But the source says Harry also wants to spend his grandmother's last days with her. The Queen is not well and recently sent Harry a goodbye letter, the snitch reveals. Harry lost his grandfather last year, and he knows his grandmother isn't going to be around forever. It's weighing on him that he's not there. But sources insist that the Duke is unlikely to convince Markle. He's begging Meghan to return to England. But she won't budge. However, Harry has prepared everything to be able to bring two children back to the UK, despite Meghan's objections. Sources have informed us that Harry has secretly posted pictures of the house he is staying with Meghan on a secret society of giants. Sale it at low price. But in this later news, Prince Harry have been warned Meghan'd be crazy to sell their £11 million mansion in Montecito after it emerged its value could be halved in just two months as inflation grips the US. Real estate expert Mukhtar Jabal said with inflation running at 9.1% in America even the mega-rich, like the Duke of Sussex, is feeling the pinch. Harry bought the stunning nine-bedroom and seven-acre property in Montecito, California, in June 2020 where they now live with their two children, Archie Mountbatten Windsor and Lilibet Diana Windsor. The $14.7 million, 11 million pound, home was once available to rent via Gigster for an incredible $700, £537, an hour for productions. Officially known as Chateau of Riven Rock, it features nine bedrooms and 16 bathrooms as well as a spa, two-bedroom guest house, library, games room, arcade, cinema and private gym. And while the highly desirable part of South California is famed for attracting A-list celebrities, with the couple boasting neighbors including Oprah Winfrey, Ellen DeGeneres and Katy Perry, Orlando Bloom and their daughter Daisy Dove. Its property market has not been immune from rising inflation which has cooled property prices across the U.S. But Mr. Jabley, the founder and CEO of luxury home rental firm the Nightfall Group, said inflation had bitten a gigantic chunk out of the property market. According to data from Realtor.com, the median property price in Montecito nosedive from £9.12 million, £11.0625 million, in May to £4.33 million, £5.250 million, in July, equating to around a 45% drop. At the end of July it raised its benchmark rate 0.75 percent points for the second consecutive month to a range of 2.25 percent minus 2.5 percent. The real estate expert, whose portfolio includes an estimated $1 billion of luxury mansions across LA, said that inflation has taken the wind out of the market's sales. He said, Harry has still made a really good investment in my view. It may seem like he has been royally ripped off but in fact the opposite is true. Inflation has bitten a gigantic chunk out of the property market but the Fed is already raising interest rates to tackle that. In the short term, that may seem even worse because it makes borrowing more expensive. But he needs to control the economy in order for it to grow sustainability. And it's only a matter of time before it surpasses that value and starts making a profit. If he sold it today or tomorrow they'd lose money. Unless they absolutely had to, would they? If he does want to sell it all they've got to do is sit on it for a few years until the market rebounds and they'll be in the money. Mr. Jabel, 
who has created a portfolio of luxury properties since moving to California in 2016, spoke shortly after the couple's home was the subject of two intruder scares in just 12 days. Two intruder scares in